I can't wait to talk to you today about the coolest topic out there. I want to talk to you about the dreaded closet cleanse. That's right, when you have to go through your wardrobe and clean it out. Some of us only do it once a year. I'm here to help you figure out how to do it all the time, quickly and efficiently. I'm going to show you what I show my clients. It's, you know, my trade secret. People actually hire me to come in, evaluate their wardrobe, and help cleanse it out so that they're dressing more efficiently and it works better with their style. I like to call this Closet Cleansing 101. Here are my tips for when you're ready to clean your wardrobe out. You want to take a look at all your clothes in your closet. You want to go through them and ask yourself, what have I not worn in the last year? If you live in a climate like the one I live in, where we have four seasons here in New York, um, you might say, oh, uh, it's springtime. I haven't worn this since last spring. That's okay. You can keep it because it's a seasonal situation. But if you're in a climate where it's, you know, like similar all year round and you haven't worn it in a year, you definitely need to get rid of it. Now, if you're like a mom, just had a baby, or you're going through a lot of weight fluctuation, I understand maybe giving yourself a little more leeway, no more than two years. If you haven't worn it in two years, you don't like it. It's not worth having it in your closet. So once you take out the clothes that you haven't worn in a year, you want to put them in piles as to why you haven't worn them. So ask yourself, literally, why have I not worn this? It might be because it's too big, too small, out of style, maybe it needs to be mended, maybe you loved it so much but now it's kind of dingy and you don't know what to do because you haven't found a better version of it. In that case, we're going to make some piles just to help organize ourselves. And you can do this right in your closet on the racks. You can put a little label on it if you want or you can lay your clothes out in a pile on the bed. That works really well too. So first pile we're going to have is things that we don't want to keep anymore. Just get rid of them. There's no reason to have them. We're not wearing them. The next pile that we're going to have are things that need to be replaced. I love my black tank top. I wore it to death. I don't have another one yet that, that fits the gap in my wardrobe. But I definitely can't get rid of it because I need it. It's like an essential. I totally get that. It needs to be in the pile of things to be replaced. So as soon as you find the proper black tank, you're going to get rid of this one. You have to keep it in that pile in your wardrobe. So things to get rid of, things to replace, and last but not least, things that are really pretty decent, they just need to be mended, and the only reason you're not wearing them is you haven't mended them yet. So that pile too. All right, so now that we have our piles, you want to take note of anything in your closet that you would wear, but there's a reason why you're not. For instance, I would wear this amazing dress, but it's got a keyhole back, and I don't have any bras that look good when I wear it with a keyhole back. So you might wear this if you had a cute lace bra that's easy to show off. Or you might wear this if you had just the right bra for it. So when you are looking through clothing and you have those iffy pieces, keep your pen and paper on hand and jot down a note. Okay, I need a cute lace bra. or a really popular one that it seems like a lot of people don't have is a good skin-toned um, strapless bra. Make sure that if you're not wearing something because you don't have the right undergarments or the right accessories, you make a note of it. So you're creating for yourself a little shopping list of things you'll need in the future. You could do a very targeted shop. So we've got our piles, we've got them ready to go, and we know exactly what we need to do. We've got a shopping list for when we want to go out shopping. The last thing to keep in mind is there might be some of those pieces in your wardrobe that you just can't get rid of because there's a memory attached to them. There's something really nostalgic that goes with them. I get it. I have them too. It's okay. For those pieces, they cannot sit in your closet anymore. Your closet is basically your little storefront. Every morning you get up, you need to look in it, and it needs to be full of things that you love, that look amazing on you, that when you step out, you'll feel confident in them. So if you've got a piece in there that's purely nostalgic and it doesn't look amazing on you anymore, let's say you grew out of it, it's a size too small, put it somewhere special. Put it in a, a chest somewhere to pass on to someone. 
take that beautiful material and make a pillow out of it. Do something with that nostalgic value so you get to hang on to it, but it's not cluttering up your closet every morning. So I encourage you guys to go ahead and try this method out. Take a look at things that you haven't worn in a year, put them into the three piles, things to get rid of, things to replace, and things to mend, and then take anything nostalgic and put it in a safe place. Tell me how that went. Leave me some comments and feedback. Let me know how you're doing. If you have any questions, throw them out there for me. I hope that you learned a ton today. I was re really, really glad to share these secrets with you. And uh, as always, guys, be inspired.